One of the most common questions that I receive from my clients is, do I talk to the police if questioned? Say, for example, that a person has been fired from work due to suspected theft. A couple days after getting fired, they receive a telephone call from a police officer wanting to talk to them about the alleged theft. The first question they ask, of course, is, do I meet with the police? They think to themselves, well, if I want to meet with the police, but I want to meet with the lawyer first, won't the police think that I'm already guilty if I want to talk to a lawyer? The answer is no. And by asserting your constitutional right to talk to a lawyer, that cannot be used against you if you are later charged with a crime. So by all means, when making a decision whether or not to talk to the police, please consult a lawyer. Once you've decided to uh, talk to the police, there are five things to remember. Number one, always talk to a lawyer first. Always meet with a lawyer prior to going to the police and giving a statement. Your lawyer can help you in many ways. Number two, always tell the truth. Number three, if you decide to meet with the police, do so at your attorney's office. Going to the police station is very intimidating. Meeting with a police officer in the police station is very, very intimidating. So try to do it in an atmosphere in which you're most comfortable. Number four, be prepared. Review your statement with your attorney before meeting with the police. Because you have to remember everything you say will be used against you if you're charged. The most important evidence in almost every jury case is what did the defendant say or what did the accused say when confronted with the charges. And finally, the fifth thing that you have to remember is you are never required to meet with a police officer. Often, a prosecutor will use your interview as the key, wit the key evidence in a case. So you have to be very, very certain that it's in your best interest to talk to the police.